Right, um, today I'm going to make a video about this uh, factor theorem, remainder theorem topics. Um, if you're IGCSC student, yeah, this one is in your syllabus for MF. If you're SPM student, you will learn this one at STPM. Right, so yeah, in this topic, right, so basically what we need to do is we kind of need to like uh, factorize or divide the polynomial, uh, which is the x power of 4 in these questions. Because I seldom actually do the uh, factor theorem topics for x power 4 so I take this opportunity to make this video right so this question actually asks you to divide uh, this polynomial by x minus 2 and then you want to show that x minus 2 is a factor for uh, for this polynomial so actually it's quite straightforward but then it's slightly different with the exam because normally exam they will ask you to divide completely that means they will want you to find out all the factor here so okay so what I would do first step is normally I would just uh, okay I will let fx uh, equals to the whole polynomial here x power 4 plus 4x cubed minus x squared minus 16x minus 12 alright so then I will just do a long division for it so this is x power 4 plus 4x cubed minus x squared minus 16x minus 12 so yeah this polynomial divided by x minus 2 so when you do the long division right you always need to make sure you have the uh, every single power. What do I mean by here is like you have x power of 4 must have the x power of 3, 2, 1 and 0. So if one of it is missing right you kind of need to add the 0 for it. Uh, I will ex explain this one further at question number 2 here. Okay so over here when we do the long division right our objective is always like eliminate the first term here. So my first term here is what x power of 4 right. You need to think like how uh, what you should multiply in order to get x power of 4. So in this case, uh, definitely I will multiply x cubed here. Because x cubed multiply x cubed is x power of 4. And then x cubed uh, multiply negative 2, you get negative 2x cubed. Alright, and then here we have an invisible minus. Alright, you don't ask me why. Because you learned this one in primary, right? If you do the 9 divided by 2, you do 4, 8. And then why you will write a 1 here? Because you know here have an invisible minus, isn't it? Alright, this is what happened for the long division. So therefore if I minus ready here I should have a I should have a 6x cubed because minus minus give me a positive right minus uh, x square. So your objective is always uh, eliminate the first term. So how are you going to get a 6x cubed? So you need to mark plus 6x square. Then this is 6x cubed. Alright, then I will just uh 6x square minus negative 2 is negative 12x square. Because of the invisible minus, this one becomes positive. So I have 11x squared minus 16x. My objective 11x squared. So I multiply 11x. Then I get 11x squared minus 22x. All right, because 11x multiplied negative 2. Then invisible minus give me positive 22. So I have 6x minus 12. Then I will plus 6 here. Then I will get 6x minus 12. Remainder is 0. Just nice. So yeah, I guess I really... Uh, done what the question one because the question actually asked me to divide this one by uh, x minus two and then the part two the question actually asked me to like show that x minus two is a factor of this one so we learn about factor theorem factor theorem tell you something like fa equals zero means what this is what they call factor theorem okay so this factor theorem tell you fa equals zero means if I sub in the 2 into my fx, my final answer is 0. That means uh, x minus 2 is a factor of it. So what I will do is, if this is x minus 2, you doesn't sub in the negative 2. Huh? You always need to think something like, okay, x minus 2 equals 0. What is your x answer? What is the x value? x is 2, isn't it? So therefore, what I will do is, I will do f2. But I will not do equals 0 because the question actually asked me to show. If I say array write equals 0, nothing for me to show. So I will just like substitute the 2 into my x here. So this one will give me 60, the 2 power 4. And then this is 8. 8, 8 times 4 is 32. Minus 4, minus 32, minus 12. So yeah, so you can see negative 32 and negative 32 cancel it out and then 16 minus 16 is 0. Then I will say Sean. Because the question asked me to show. Alright, let's say for the question number one here, um I I want to factorize completely. I do not want to leave my answer like this. What I will do is for the cubic equation here, I can actually factorize it slightly further if I want to. So there's two ways you can do that. Uh, one way is uh, you do it manually. The second way definitely use the calculator to find out what's in the next factor. 
So yeah, I'm going to show you both way uh, real quick here. Since you know how to show radius, then I will just erase the showing part here. So therefore, I know my fx is formed by the x minus 2 multiply the quotient, right? The quotient will be the answer on the top there, x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x uh, plus 11x. Okay, let me write nicely. Plus 11x plus 6. So if I want to factorize uh, this one again, definitely I need to find out what is the factor. If I do the manual way, I, I do not want to use the calculator. What I will do is, okay, I will let the px equals to that cubic equation. x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. Then I need to find what is the factor. The factor is always uh, from the constant number here, 6 here. So 6, we know all the factors for 6, right? Positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. So we have 8 choice here. So what you need to do is you need to sum in any of these number into the px here. See which one will give you 0 because like what I say, factor theorem is equal to 0. So if I try 1 here, p1, I sum in the 1, I get 1 plus 6 plus 11 plus 6. Then this one actually will give me about 24. It's not zero, right? It's not equal to zero. That means the one is not a factor. Then I will try negative one. If I sub in the negative one into here, I get negative one plus six minus eleven plus six. Then you you can see negative twelve plus twelve, you get zero, right? So therefore, if negative one will give you zero, that means we know this one means what x equals to negative one. So the factor is not x minus one, huh? because you need to move the negative one to the other side because x plus one equals zero. So this one will be your factor. So therefore, x plus one is the factor of px. Okay, after you got the x plus one is a factor of px, what you need to do is uh, you, you kind of need to do the long division again. So yeah, so the long division is a similar way just yeah you need to do again here so what i will do here is yeah i will just do a long division again x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 then i will divide that by x plus 1 so yeah i will do real quick x squared give me x cubed plus x squared this one will give me 5x squared plus 11x then i will do plus 5x then it's 5x squared plus 5x. Then I have 6x plus 6. Then we'll do plus 6. It'll give me 6x plus 6. All right, then, it did, then you will get uh, the quadratic equation, which you can factorize it easily, right? So over here, we know x minus 1, uh, x minus 2. So another equation is, just so we get it, the factor is x plus 1, isn't it? Then we have another quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Alright, definitely the last last quadratic equation I can just like fact, factorize myself, uh, which is x minus two, x plus one, and then this quadratic equation I will just factorize like this, so I will get x x. This one will give me three, two, and um, yeah, plus for both. Alright, then I already factorize completely for this uh power four equation. Right, so just now I say there's two ways. One is the manual way, right, which we do a try and error. So another way I can do is uh, I, I can use the calculator here. So what I would do is um, for my calculator, I'll go into the equation. All right, so I can go into the equation here, and then I choose my polynomial, so I will choose 2. Um, depend you want to start from the uh, x power 4 equation, but over here I will just go from the x power of 3 because I kind of need to find out the, the 1 here. So yeah, I go three here. Then you key in your a, b, and c. Your a here is just a uh, positive one, so it's just one equal. B will be six, and c will be eleven, and d will be six again. Right. Then you press the equal. Then you have a few answer. You can see the x equals to negative three. Um, basically is this answer, isn't it? So if you see carefully, this one actually will give me the negative three, right? So my next answer is x equals to negative 1, so which is this one. So you can see when I sub in the negative 1, I will get 0. So you, when you do a try and error, right, just now we say we have 8 choice, you can try negative 3 as well if you are using the calculator to check it out. And then the last one is negative 2. So you can see the negative 2 is, is actually over here. So yeah, so basically what you do when you're using the calculator is you use this calculator to, to faster get the, the, 
number you want to sub in because just now it's eight is still okay you can try it but sometimes you might have like 12 or 16 it's quite take your uh, some time to find out what is a factor uh, sometimes it is even can't find a factor as well so yeah so normally in the exam i would just use the calculator to find out my factor so i find uh it's the easiest way and fast and easy right so then we go to the question number two here so Okay, so for the question number two here, the questions asked me to show this one is the factor for this uh, power of four equation. So it's quite easy. So if this one is the factor, so, so the first thing is I will let fx equals to the whole equation, x power of four minus three x squared plus seven x minus five. Then I will try about f1, okay? Why I choose one is not negative one because you always need to do something like x minus one equals zero, then x equals to one, okay? So I will sub in one into here. 1. Remember, don't straight away write the 0 1 because you need to show it. Alright, so minus 3 plus 7 minus 5. So if I sub like this, so yeah, I will get the negative 8 plus 8 is a 0. Then I will see. Sean. Alright, then determine the quotient and the remainder when this equation is divided by x minus 1. So what you need to do next is yeah you kind of need to divide you kind of need to divide it so yeah i will do a long division here uh do but let me check do i do anything wrong here minus three plus seven is eight right minus eight is zero okay okay so when i do the long divisions just now I say you need to make sure you have every single power here. So you have x power of 4 here, but you don't have x power of 3, right? So what I would do is I will add the 0 x power of 3 by myself. Then minus 3 x squared plus 7 x minus 5. Right, so if you don't have any power, you need to add by yourself. If, if not, your long division well, will start somewhere. So I will divide by x minus 1 here. Okay, so then determine the quotient. So just in case you do not know, quotient basically means later your answer here, they call it quotient, okay, QX. And then the remainder is when you do until the end, you will get a remainder here. Okay, so just in case you do not know what is a quotient and remainder here. So yeah, so I just divide here. So first one I will do X cubed here, then I will get uh, X power 4 minus X cubed. Then negative negative give me a positive x cubed minus 3x squared here. So then the next thing is I will do plus x squared. Then I get x cubed uh, minus x squared here. Then this one give me positive x squared, negative 2x squared plus 7x here. Then I will do negative 2x. Then I will get negative 2x squared. And then here will give me plus 2x here. Then this one will give me 5x minus 5. Then I will just do positive 5. I get 5x minus 5. So they ask you to determine the quotients and the remainder. So obviously my remainder is 0, right? So for the question number 2, yeah, after I show already the, uh, uh, this question number 2, right? This is part 2. So you just say remainder equals 0. Uh, yeah, when when divide by x minus two, you can write that, and then the quotient will be the x cubed plus x squared minus two x plus five. So if you want to, okay, if you want to like factorize this again, yeah, you can always do that if you want, All right? So yeah, you can use the calculator and continue to do that because I already show you the method in the question number one. So yeah, I just don't want to make this video so long. So yeah, this video I'm going to end here. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.